welcome back to my channel and hello to my Christmas decorating video. I can't actually believe we're here again. We're here already. It's nearly Christmas. Well, okay, maybe it's not nearly Christmas. It is like the beginning of November, but the Christmas countdown is on guys. It is official. As soon as November the 1st turns over and Halloween is done with, it is Christmas mode. My Rudolph is on, my Christmas PJs are on, the Christmas mug is out and all the candles. And yeah, honestly, couldn't be more excited. I feel like in me, the best part of Christmas is the Christmas countdown. It's basically just the two months before Christmas. Which this year, like I've already mentioned in my last Christmas vlog, it just feels so much more special and so much more exciting because I'm in my own place, I've got my own tree, I'm, I just feel like I've got free reign more, you know? Like when you live with your parents, as much as they will let you do things and stuff, I used to live with the Grinch. I basically used to live with the human Grinch and that was my dad. You know I love my dad really, but when it comes to Christmas, he just doesn't like living in Santa's grotto and that's where we just differ massively because me, I like to walk in and everything just scream Christmas to me. So yeah, I feel like this year is just so much more exciting because we can have a real life Santa's grotto. Anyway, I'm rambling already. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed for the occasion. I've got my Christmas PJs on because if you don't decorate your Christmas tree in Christmas PJs or a Christmas jumper, then you're doing it all wrong. We're gonna get into decorating the Christmas tree today. So, unfortunately there's no Aaron. Um, he's actually working, which is a real disappointment. He works in the evenings and nights, and that is the time I was only able to film this video. So yeah, but I'll bring him back for my Christmas actual decor video. Anyway, really hope you enjoy, and I'm gonna show you how to decorate my Christmas tree. You know the drill, before we start our Christmas tree, it's time to put the kettle on and make ourselves a lovely festive drink. So I'm actually having a holiday favourite, which is a gingerbread latte. These are now in Asda, so just to give you the heads up. Really simple to make, you just add water, and then I'm obviously going to have all the trimmings and have some whipped cream and sprinkles on top. And then it's off to get changed into our compulsory Christmas pyjamas attire. I love decorating the tree in my pyjamas and just being super comfy. I'm sorry, but how amazing are these pyjamas and slippers on Primark? Honestly, I was so excited when I saw them. So yeah, the full outfit is from Primark. And of course, we have to get that Christmas scented aroma in the air and I'm lighting a cinnamon spice candle. This is from Home Sense. This is my favourite scent this time of year. And then all that is left to do is either put on your favourite Christmas album or put on a film. I've gone with one of my favourites, Jack Frost, so if you see me crying, this is why. So the first part of decorating our tree is actually assembling it. Now I did leave this out of my tree video last year but as I have a brand new tree I really wanted to just to show you the process of assembling the tree and also talk you through it a little bit because honestly even though this part is one of the most tedious in my opinion it is so long honestly this took me like two hours just to pull out all the tree. I feel like if this is not done right, your tree can end up looking just a little bit naff. So it's really important that you spend a good couple of hours really pulling out all the branches, just moving them so they look as natural, as fluffy, and they're just as spread out as possible. Honestly, when I saw this tree in John Lewis, Nottingham store, it looked awful. But then when I walked into the Leicester one, it looked amazing. So it just goes to show how much of a difference just giving some TLC to your tree will make. And of course, do make sure you keep hydrated. I'm just having some Marks and Spencer's mulled wine. Only the best. Seriously, if you've not tried Marks and Spencer's mulled wine, please do because it's so good. And then it's back to spreading out the tree. Now, I will leave all the details for this tree in the description bar. It was from John Lewis and it was a little bit pricey, but for me, I would rather just invest in a good tree now that I know is going to last me year after year. My mum's has lasted her 10 years, so... Yeah, a little bit of like a tree investment, I'm gonna say. Once your tree is assembled, it's then time to add your lights. Now this tree is actually a pre-lit tree, which honestly, these are absolute lifesavers because I always end up getting in such a mess with lights, so I definitely recommend them, but otherwise, add your lights now. Once your lights are assembled, it's then time to add your tree skirt. Now I'm taking this grey faux fur tree skirt from Next. Admittedly, it was a little pricey, but silly me, forgot to order the one I was eyeing up on Amazon at literally half the price. So. I will leave that one in the description bar for you to check out, but otherwise, it's time to apply the tree skirt. I absolutely love how these just finish the bottom of the tree off. 
um, I'm going to show you a little step next to make it more fuller. So take an old cushion or just any like tissue paper or anything you have and just start filling under the tree skirt. This just makes it look a little bit more puffier and less flat and just a little bit more realistic I guess. It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening just you and me tonight and then once you have fully stuffed your tree skirt it should look something along the lines of this it's just you and me on to decorating the tree so the first step i would advise is add any sort of garland fluffy boas anything that you're going to be wrapping around the tree now now i'm not opting for that option this year but i am going with these sort of like statement flowers so i really want to get these all placed in the tree first these were from john lewis i have found a cheaper option on amazon the only reason why i didn't go with the cheaper option on amazon was because they were gold in the middle and i was just being really picky and fussy so i ended up splurging on these yeah they were so expensive but i just thought i'd treat myself guys and i know i can reuse these year upon year so yeah I'll sort of get my use out of them over the years, hopefully. I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Babe. Next, it's time for a new addition to the tree, and it is these centicles. I've never come across these before, but this year, in being q I stumbled across them. There's so many different scents. Apparently, I've been told that Audi do a dupe for these and they're so much cheaper, so definitely check out Audi. But yeah, I've got the cinnamon ones and they smell insane. After I've applied them to the tree, I'm then going in with these red berries and just sort of adding them to the branches just to add a little bit of detailing. The next place I like to start with my tree is the big bauble. So I always start from the bottom and sort of work my way up when it comes to decorating the tree. And yeah, as I said, I like to take the big baubles first and I'll probably work these up until about three quarters of the way up and then I'll go in with sort of more medium and smaller size baubles because I just feel like this, personally for me, just looks the best. To be completely honest with you, I don't really have any particular procedure in applying the bauble to the tree. I just take a different colour variation and alternate them and just make sure that I don't have any sort of colours exactly the same next to each other. Um, and yeah, that's just what I find works best for me. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? So yeah, I'll keep on simply applying all the large red baubles to the tree until I have run out. I definitely like loads of baubles and decorations on my tree, so yeah, just to let you know. <laughs> Once I've applied all my large red baubles, I'm then taking my silver baubles. So as you can see, I'm doing a red and silver tree this year. So all I'm simply doing is taking these medium-sized silver baubles and just placing them next to the red ones, just to give them a nice contrast. After I have added my silver baubles, I'm then going back to my original colour of the tree, which is red, and taking some medium sized baubles and just simply using these to fill out the tree further. Like I've already said, I really like my tree to be all out there and just give that super luxurious glam vibe. I just feel like adding loads of baubles and just packing my tree really gives it that over top feel. I appreciate this may not be for everyone and you may like a more minimalistic tree with your baubles, so don't feel like you have to add loads at this point. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Now that the bottom of the tree is starting to look more fuller, it's time to go in with some more baubles for the top. Now, I like to personally go in with smaller size baubles for the top, just so it doesn't look too big at the top, because obviously the tree does go smaller at the top. I just feel like personally for me, and in my opinion, I just like the smaller baubles at the top and don't like to overly crowd it with like large, massive baubles. So yeah, up to you guys, it's your tree, but this is just what I like. The last step in the bauble department is to add any statement baubles that you may have. So I'm just going in with all of my statement baubles and just adding these to fill up any spaces that there may be. And 
And of course, the last step is to add your tree topper. Now this, admittedly, was an absolute struggle for me because the tree was seven foot and I didn't have anything to sort of stand on. But yeah, we got there in the end. Aaron then, at this point, had just come back from work and I wanted to move the tree because where it was currently just, it just didn't look right. So we decided to put it in the corner instead. Take a ride and soon Miss Fanny Bright and there we go, this is my finished tree of 2019, a red and silver sort of traditional tree. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I really hope you have enjoyed this video and I'm gonna let you just take it all in and just watch the tree in its full glory.